right, here is the video review for Planet X Synectus, aka Sunstorm, based on the fall Cybertron design for the Seekers. And uh, here he is, he's a little, actually this, from what I'm seeing on the screen, seems a fairly decent representation of his actual colors. There's a lot of pictures of him online, and they all seem to vary in how vibrant or muted his colors are. He's kind of a honey mustardy orangey yellow here with some more kind of a pumpkin-y orange, I guess, in some of these places with some red detailing and then a bright yellow uh, cockpit. And like I said, I feel this is a pretty decent representation of what I'm seeing on the screen here on the camera, sitting behind it right now. Um, and some pictures I posted on Twitter uh, and on Instagram, I think, are actually fairly accurate to what the eye sees. Like under the bright white lights, it kind of makes them a little bit brighter. But uh, he's, a, he's a very nice... Uh, Obviously the orange and part of the reason I got this like I wanted to check out this mold obviously the orange and uh, I, I settled on this one because I figured this one I could have him enjoy him and not feel the need to get the whole set of seekers like if I just gotten Thundercracker if I just gotten Skywarp or Starscream I would immediately want the other two <laughs> and I've got I don't have I still have that now that I've played with the mold I still have that urge a little bit but not as strongly as if I'd just gotten one of the three main seekers. But here he is, his jet. He does have this landing gear, which you can, uh, you can kind of split these panels right here and you can fold up into the nose if you don't want to use it. That makes him a little bit more aerodynamic and a lot more swooshable. He's fun. Uh, the jet mode. The guns are uh, stored here, pegged into the wings, although you can, uh, if you want, I'll show it off in a minute, you can peg them up here into the arm holes. Um, a lot of pictures have his wings extended like this, which I think is indicative of the boost mode uh, from the game. You could, you could speed up and things would happen on your on your vehicle and and it does extend the wings out a little bit in vehicle mode i think they look better extended in robot mode for jet mode I, I like i don't like the gappiness in jet mode i like them to be a little bit more secure and solid but that's entirely up to you and like i said you can take the oh, wing came unpegged here but that's an easy fix we can pop the guns off here and that will, again they, they, they peg in securely enough that you may untab this little peg here doing it but uh again you just peg it right back into place if you want you can peg them in up here now that these pegs fold up and it looks like maybe there's a like that's too thick for it there's a slot up here that looks like maybe it's intended to attach some other way but i haven't been able to find it and i don't understand these slide these folding up is just super frustrating sometimes trying to get them to peg in Especially into the wings here in jet mode. But if you want to, you can attach them up here like this. Up to you. Or you can just leave them off all together if you want. Just kind of a jet. Again, he is swooshable. Some clever things like how it all locks together. The way the arms lock in with these kneecap pieces. Or kind of over the kneecap pieces that store on the shins is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, fun little toy. We'll get to robot mode. Let's go ahead and do that. So you unlock the... Uh, the arms by kind of you either just pull open up in this case I open up the whole shin but this little piece can hinge down but you see there's a little tab here that slots into these on the arms just open those up like this and then you can go ahead and untab the upper arm here from the, the yellow piece from the orange piece here and that frees up the arms here you can kind of fold them out to the side like that um, and then go ahead and take this piece, rotate it around, and fold it down. That's kind of a shoulder pauldron. And then flip the arms out like this. And same over here. Flip that around. Just, this is going to make things a little easier so it's not in the way. Then these little ab pieces, you can see this is how they're supposed to sit in jet mode. And uh, it's kind of neat the way they fold up. But the, the, the ball joints on these, you can see it's really loose, but it, it's fine because... In jet mode, they're all kind of tucked away in here, and once they fold the arms in, they don't wiggle. And when you get them to robot mode, they don't wiggle. They're, they're not loose that they pop off. They're just loose on that ball joint, which is fine. But just swivel that hinge around. And basically just fold it around so it forms part of the abs here, the sides of the abdomen, like that. Go ahead and unpeg the wings from back here and unpeg these from up here, this whole backpack assembly. Uh, go ahead and lift these up. You can kind of, this piece is a separate piece, lift this up, lift this up. You can actually, if you want to, you can go ahead and rotate this around as well. But bring that out. And then on the legs, open up the shin. 
and then take the leg, bring it up, and then make sure there's a little, there's a tab, the tab here that needs to go in the slot here in the back of the leg. So make sure you bring this all the way up and slot that in to lock the leg together like that. You can, you can kind of see how that's supposed to go in that groove. And then this piece folds around at this hinge on the bar, folds down into the shin cover, and then folds up into the leg like that. You may, you may need to use a little force, it can be a little tight, but snap that into place, fold the toe down. Make sure that stays locked into slot, and then just snap that leg back together. And do the same thing on the other side. Again, you kind of lean it forward and make sure that goes into that slot. Fold it down like that, push it back in, and then close that up. Fold the toe down. And his legs are done. On to the upper body here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Open up his forearms, and there's, there is a little tab here to help you flip his fists out. This one comes out very easily. This side uh, tends to give me issues. It, like, it just likes to rotate and get caught just a smidge. I can get it up there, but that hinges, the little tab here is not big enough for me to get the leverage to get it around and rotate out, but that's okay. Any, any sort of small tool you can use to just kind of just pop it out. Just, I guess just getting this, this little bit past this yellow lip, it, it's no problem. We'll bring those out. And then here, open up these two panels like this and then fold the nose cone up and in like that and bring this down and around make sure the arms are not causing any issues like this now before you get before you start tabbing all this stuff together you can see that we've rotated this around there's this hinge and this hinge but then this whole gray piece inside the body comes out on a hinge and lifts up like that and once that's done you can fold this all the way down and around and there's a tab here the tab from the landing gear will sit in this little slot right here on the on the abdomen like that and then you can fold this tab in and it's going to tab in right here to the front of the headpiece this little tab on the yellow tabs into the front of the neck assembly. Bring this around. Fold this piece up behind the head. And then on the back, take these pieces and untap them from right here, like this. And then they're gonna slide. But you wanna bring them up. So untab, open, the, open this piece and untab this piece. And these are gonna rotate around Okay, that just came in pegged there. Let me make sure I did this right. This is a slide up. Hold on. Yeah, okay, this is gonna go like this. So rotate this around. Get this snap back on here. Come on now. There we go. Just looking at it from the wrong direction. Fold these around like this. Open these up, and then these are gonna fold up around like this. Now these, you can see slide. You wanna slide those around. Uh, bring these around like this, and around like this on this hinge. And fold, these should fold in and tab into place. Yeah, so you, there's a tab here, a slot here, and a tab here. So collapse those in onto the backpack. But make sure, again, slide them on the pole. Come on. There we go. And tab them in like that. And then this should come up and around. So it's above the little yellow wing there. Kind of like that. And then this piece folds up. And when you get to this point, 
uh, this piece kind of pushes up and then there's a little tab on the back of these orange side pieces that tabs into where these pieces were originally tabbed into up in here. So lock that in on that side. Come over here, line it up and lock it into that side. And that should securely hold the whole torso together. Yeah, get that in there like that. And you just kind of angle these up against the body. And these sit like this, these sit like this. And this is where, like I said, there that's how they, they sit normally. And this is where I like to extend those wing pieces because I think just having them come up just a little bit more and stick a little further out than these lower wing pieces just looks better. And there he is in robot mode. He's got a ball joint at the head, a very nicely white painted face with some cool light piping there on his orange eyes. Uh, dual swivel shoulders. You can move the shoulder pauldrons around, they swivel up there. Bicep swivel, dual hinge elbows. Uh, wrist swivel, opening hands. The fingers are one piece, but opening hands. He does have a waist swivel, and it actually has a pretty decent clearance behind the cockpit there. Dual hinge hips, thigh swivel, Hinge knees, single hinge knees, some ankle tilt there at the foot, and some toe poseability as well as some heel poseability. You can attach his weapons. I do wish these had a way of attaching up here on his arms. Maybe, can you, can you do this? Does this? Oh, maybe that work? Maybe that's what that slot's for? That doesn't seem right. I don't know, maybe that, that, that actually that kind of solves one of our issues. I guess maybe that's where that's supposed to go. It just, yeah, there we go. I was, I was lamenting that there wasn't a way to mount these a little higher up, although that seems a little too high. Because um, you either have them way up here, which doesn't look too, too bad, or uh, you use the peg holes. You actually, you can hold them as regular guns as well. Or you can peg them in to the back of the arms, which looks a little awkward. Like, they just stick out just a little bit too far. Like, I wish there were, like, a... Maybe even, even here in the elbow, I feel like if that were a peg hole for these, it would look a little more natural. But I guess if you use, granted that's not super secure, but that actually looks kind of nice, pose like that. But anyway, we'll go ahead and attach him to his arms here. And there he is with his blasters. And he also comes with, uh, I believe, Star I don't think Skywarp and Black I'm pretty sure Sky they, they didn't, Starscream did. But he also comes with a purple crown, a little symbol on it that you can just kind of sit on his head. And it stays on pretty well, it's just friction though, it doesn't clip or anything. But if you want to give him a crown, and then he's got a cool little, you can take the handle off if you want, but he's got a cool little scepter here. That, uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could pop this off, depending on how you want him to hold it. You could slide, just slide this in like that if you want him to hold it up higher up. Or you can just take it. Um, I'm always a little wary about snapping something in like that because of thumbs and breaking. But uh, if you want to hold it a little down, you can have him hold the scepter with the cool transparent plastic. Have him be more of a ruler. I like that he has the melee weapon, but I prefer him with the guns. Mostly because there's nowhere to store this in jet mode, whereas the guns can. So if you have him with the guns, you can take him with you, transform him completely, and not have any extra bits. Whereas if you bring these, you're going to have extra bits. Just for size comparison, here he is with Voyager Earthrise Starscream, so a little bigger than Voyager. And here he is with the Planet X Jupiter, the metallic version. I have managed to secure a non-metallic version, so we're looking forward to them showing up. But there you go. But there is Planet X Synectus, and I dig him. He's really cool. Also orange.